Right, welcome to episode 11 of my how to draw series with the above viewpoint where I complete more of the eye blink. Now I just realized this but back in episode 10 I did not actually do the uh, eye shade so I'm just going to do that in this episode here. Well then, um, yeah we'll start drawing here. Right. Yeah, yeah, we'll start from there. Oh, um, by the way, um, <laughs> I did make this video not that long ago about Genshin Impact, but I only ever made one video about it, right? And um, I do like the game, but I don't like it as much as Legend of Zelda or uh, Final Fantasy and quite a few other games as well. So, um, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> I've not played Genshin Impact for at least three weeks. <laughs> well, at least two and a half weeks anyway. Um, if you're wondering, why did you stop playing Genshin Impact? Well, <laughs> I did say this in the other video with the overview. And it's where the internet kept crashing on me. So I just thought, nah, you know, I just got sick of it. I kept count and, uh, and the internet crashed on me on Genshin Impact at least uh, 15 times. So I thought, yeah, I don't like it as much as offline based games. And also this is the second biggest reason why I stopped playing Genshin Impact. But uh, basically there's this game series called Devil May Cry. And it's where it's a really good series overall. Um, apart from, you know, that Emo May Cry game that no one likes. That's not even a Capcom game by the way, it's that Devil May Cry reboot. That's actually a Ninja Theory game, mostly anyway. And it's where um, there was this game that was on Steam called Devil May Cry 5. And it's where um, it was half price. So instead of it being £12, no, not £12, £32, it was uh, £16. <laughs> and it's like, offer ends in two days. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to have to buy this. <laughs> and especially since it's on PC, meaning that I can actually make videos on that later on anyway. <laughs> No, so far I actually like Double the Cry 5. Oh, and um, there's a new character you get to play as called B. And I actually quite like his uh, play style. However, the biggest problem behind being B when you play as him is that uh, <laughs> he has like three pets. And it's really hard to control four characters in one go. So <laughs> And it's like to control like all four of them you have to match like three or four different buttons in one go and it's really hard to control four characters in one go. Whereas when you play as Nero or Dante it's a lot easier because you're only controlling one character. So these uh playstyle is actually very different. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. It's right. <laughs> Make sure that uh, the stroke lines are red because otherwise uh <laughs> you're gonna get mixed up what you're trying to edit and what you're not trying trying to edit but yeah um yeah let's go color this in Ooh, yeah that looks a tiny bit too dark i'm probably gonna end up changing it yeah we'll keep it that way for a little bit uh, yeah it yeah, will probably change it but yeah, I do like Devil May Cry 5. At least the game did not crash out on me once like it did with Genshin Impact. So I do apologise for the Gen Gen Genshin Impact fans. But I'm sorry, but <laughs> it just doesn't do enough for me to want to stay, even if it's a free game. Hmm. Right. Um, yeah, let's get that. Oh no, oh no, I made a mistake there. Right. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Yeah, there we go. Right. Yeah, um, press I if you want to do eyedropper tool, just grab the correct colours. Now, mm, I think I'm going to go change it. Yeah, let's go change it. Yeah, that definitely looks better. But yeah, let's go and colour it in. Yeah, yeah that, that looks okay to me. Hmm, yeah, let's uh, move this over to a different layer. And that's why I colour coded it red, so that I know exactly what I need to double click, click and what to not double click. But yeah, I usually use Control Shift 
X to like move it over to a different frame like I do right here yeah it's definitely a good idea to have different layers and yes let's do save it because I don't want it to be a power cut now then uh, <clears throat> let me just get my bearings correct hmm yeah that looks okay to me yeah that looks fine yeah yeah that oh no oh no that that went wrong right mm. uh, yeah i think we can move over to the next frame right yeah let's go into this frame and grab the colors so that we don't have to hand type in the hexadecimal every single time but yeah yeah the eyelids have to look really good now right okay let's grab that color yeah this won't take that long trust me especially since all you have to do is look across like four three or four different frames and i can just copy and paste it across to the opposite frames so yeah it won't take that long right so, yeah. Yeah, I do apologise that uh, I'm not talking that much. It's just that sometimes it's a bit hard to talk and uh, throw at the same time. Right, let's delete it all off. Yeah, I am doing this at times one speed, whereas the first few episodes of the How To Draw Viewpoint series was at times four speed. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, let's uh, move it over to the opposite frame delete that off and put that in there we go that definitely looks better with the eye shade i was wondering why it didn't look that good now to be honest i was going to put eye shade on the eyebrows i thought ah yeah it'll be okay it's, it's, you're gonna see this very far away anyway i only wanted to do it with eye shade so much because it doesn't take that long i've actually done it before so yeah let's copy and paste it here Let's uh, grab that colour and put it here. Yeah. Fortunately, once the character's eyes goes halfway, oh no, I made a mistake there. Yeah, once the character's eyes goes halfway down, we won't have to do much shade it, eye shade after that. But yeah. <laughs> I will say one funny thing about Devil May Cry 5 is that there's this bird character called Griffin. And when you play as him, as one of the three pets that V has, he shouts BARBECUE TIME! And I literally burst out laughing the first time he said that. <laughs> it's like BARBECUE TIME! Uses thunder. <laughs> it's like, I don't think that's quite barbecuing. It's like, if he used fire, that would make more sense. But there you go. And I love how in Devil May Cry 5, they actually put Mega Buster there for a uh, weapon for Nero to use. I was expecting Mega Buster to be used by uh, Dante at first. Especially since he could do tar charge shots out of his uh, Ebony and Ivory handguns. But yeah. Oh, speaking of uh, Ebony and Ivory guns, I actually ordered some new cosplay guns. Now, don't worry, it's only cosplay ones, these are not real ones, right? And it's where um, I ordered some uh, Ebony and Ivory play guns and it's where it's supposed to look realistic and such but obviously they have to make it be where you cannot use it as a real gun because so they'll like deactivate it and make it be where you cannot put bullets in it so they'll like put something in so that you can't actually load it in any way oh man I can't wait to get them I do have to wait at least a whole month before I can get my hands on those pretend guns but there you go it's gonna be so fun having them around <laughs> You can even do action movies with them, it's so funny. You can even edit in gunfire. Right, uh, that looks fine to me. Yeah, I don't see any problem with this. Right. Uh, yeah, let's delete them off. We got we got these stroke lines on a different layer anyway. Right, yeah, get rid of that. Right, okay. Let's go into this frame here. And copy and paste it over to this one so that it actually has eye shade on it. Yay! And let's save it as well. <coughs> right. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's just copy and paste it here. Yeah, I don't think I'll actually need those, uh, most of those draw stroke lines anymore. Right, let's go and grab that. Oh no, I did it wrong again. I didn't put it on the correct. <laughs> I didn't put it in the correct frame. Right, let's put it in that layer. There we go, that's all better. Right. There. There we go. Now we're doing it. Yeah. That's good. Right. Let's put it here as well. Oh, I don't think we'll need to use that much colouring. I think from the next frame onwards, I can just uh, make it a lot faster. <laughs> right. Mm, that looks okay to me. I don't see any major problems there. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that looks alright to me. Right. Okay, let's delete that off permanently because we don't need it anymore. We'll only need just like the very right hand side of that. So, yeah. Hmm. There. Hmm. Yeah, let's just get on with it. Right, let's get that and put it in this uh, frame box here. There we go. Very important to make sure that you zoom into those uh, boxes because it's going to be really hard to get into whichever frame you need to, especially since there's going to be a lot of these boxes. Frame boxes even. Yeah, we, we're not going to need it for this frame onwards. Yeah, let's get rid of those. We won't get rid of every single throat line, so we'll keep like one. We'll keep that one there because that makes sense to keep it there. So let's uh, grab that and put that. Oh no, I didn't do it. I didn't put it in the right place. Let's do that. And put it here. Yeah, we'll put that there for now. Right. There we go. Right. And we'll move it onto that frame there so that we can actually colour it in properly. Right, let's grab that again. There, that's a lot better. Now we can get rid of, rid of that one. Right, okay. Right, let's copy and paste into this frame here. There we go. Ah, nice. Yeah, that definitely looks a lot better with the eye shade. In reality, you definitely would see eye shade, so it makes sense to put it here. I should have done this earlier, but oh well. At least I can show you it frame by frame so that you can do it in your own programs. Anyway, let's move this here. Well, copy and paste it even. And since we're done with that stroke layer, we can get rid of that one as well. Right. Mm. Yeah, let's just go grab that. Right. Yeah, we can get rid of that as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll just go copy and paste that over to here. Yeah, there we go. All better. <laughs> There. I think we're nearly done. Right. I don't think we'll need that red stroke line. Hmm. Yeah, I've not even started those frames yet. I just realised that. <laughs> I was concentrating so much on the shading that I completely forgot that I haven't even completed the last two frame pauses yet. Hmm. Right. There we go. Yeah, we'll put that there. We still need to colour that part in. I just realised that. Right. Yeah, we can get rid of that now. Sometimes I don't say my T's properly like that instead of that. But it's nearly the same thing really, but you know. Right, there we go. I think we'll end it off there. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to actually show your support, you may tick like, share, or subscribe to my channel you can even do all three of them if you want to so yeah and with that i'll end up the video so thanks you for watching